My name is Matt Olson. Today I'm going to be talking about pressure testing crankcases for chainsaws. So this is a 365 or 372 crankcase and I've got it apart far enough where we've got the crank seals exposed. So this is one and the one on this side is a little bit screwy of a configuration because there's a bushing involved. The other thing that we have fairly readily accessible is the base gasket area. The main goal of pressure testing is to make sure these crank seals are still good. So how do we do that? We have to actually induce pressure into the inside of the cylinder, into the crankcase itself. The problem with that is that there are so many different places for pressure to escape from. So we have to block off the carburetor, the intake area, with a piece of rubber. So all you do is a p cut a piece of bicycle inner tube and put it between the carburetor and the intake boot there. And then what you do is you take, you cut a piece of rubber and you put it between the muffler and the cylinder. And this piece of rubber I actually doubled up, but that's what seals against the cylinder head. And that blocks that off. Then we've got the spark plug and the decompression port. Now this one is plugged for demonstration purposes right now. In a minute I'll remove that and I'll actually use a decompression valve and we'll show you what an air leak looks like there. You want to test pressure with about seven pounds. So the way to do that ideally is with a midivac. This certainly helps uh, to, to test this type of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the impulse line here. Attach the midivac like that. Put it to pressure. Pump it up to seven pounds pretty steady. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take some soapy water and put it right on the crank seal. So if that if that's dropping then you want to put a little bit of soapy water right here on the crank seal and you want to look for bubbles. And if you can really put it upright so you kind of create a puddle there, no bubbles here that seal is perfectly good. So the other thing you're going to want to do is rotate the crank. You can use a flywheel nut, just rotate it. And that way you can watch the pressures as they go up and down. They should be fairly solid and not dropping. And just spray it all around the, uh, the base gasket to check for leaks there. We want to do vacuum. Sometimes saws will hold pressure but not vacuum. So hook up your midi vac again and pull a vacuum. It should hold and it should be steady. Darn steady if you ask me. So this is a good pressure test on this crankcase. It clearly holds vacuum, it holds pressure, which means at the minimum the crank seals and the base gasket are good to go. Let's demonstrate what an air leak does look like. So the easiest way to demonstrate what an air leak looks like is to use a decompression valve. So again we put pressure in the system. About seven pounds is good. A little soapy water here. Let's see if we let the decompression valve go. You see the bubbles? There's the bubbles. So that's what a leak looks like. So those are the diagnostic procedures that we use. Although not all chainsaws are in this configuration, this will at least give you an idea of what you have to do in order to get your saw tested. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.